What has happened, everybody? BC Spirits, Spirit of Day number 66. 66 lickety, is it lickety splits? I'm trying to remember the bingo term. 66 lickety splits. Um, anyway, today we're doing the Barrel Age Seaside. Now, this is an old batch of the Barrel Age Seaside that I have that I sort of dug out and knocked the dust off. Um, but you know how much I love Sharing Ham's uh, Seaside Gin. Their Seaside Gin is multi award winning gin. Um, I think they got world's best contemporary gin last year. So world's best contemporary gin last year. This is their barrel aged version. The great thing with their barreling thing is that Jason really knows his stuff when it comes to barrel aging. Anything really is red fife whiskey. His the Akavit that we've done. So bar the barrel aged seaside, forty three point five percent alcohol, slightly higher. Now I've talked about this before. Slightly higher alcohol, more texture, more mouthfeel. Piney con coniferous on the nose, which I talk about a lot with BC Gin. Um, when Sheringham was originally up at Shirley, you'd have to drive up and you'd lose GPS signal and you'd go up in the mountain here and you'd overlook the pass into the US. And you'd overlook that pass into the US and it just was beautiful briny sea, trees, like it was just a gorgeous view. Um, and it, tasting the gin always reminded me of being in that place, that brininess. Um, beautiful floral notes from the, the lavender. Almost um, citrus flesh, grapefruit, pomelo, peel. I think it's coming from the juniper. Grand fur tips. A brininess from the seaweed that goes into it. The, the sea kelp. The kelp that they use is so special to that region and to the to the distillery but beautiful finish clean long the citrus notes in there is very very interesting it's long and very bright everything's very bright there's no deep danky sort of herbal notes the barreling barrel aging I've talked about it before, talk about it again. Uh, the barrel finishing is something that adds a complexity and adds a, a, a botanical sort of uh, note to the whole alcohol. It's not taking over anything. It's a, a not necessarily an addition on top of the gin, but it's just folded into the gin as if it was an ingredient in the process. And so the barrel HC side gin, super subtle on the wood, not overly aggressive, but you always get this sort of mentholy oaky no that just plays really well with that juniper and the uh the um piney notes and the coniferous notes you get on that so number 66 lickety slits the barrel aged seaside gin from sherringham have a good day see you tomorrow bye